عجيب فقه التحول حل الذي كان مشكل وكلهم طالبين All praise be to Allah, salutations and peace be upon our master, the messenger of Allah. Among the subtle reports about love for the chosen prophet is the story of the lion. It's well known that a lion is a predator and a wild beast. However, its wildness disappears and it becomes gentle and submissive when with the Messenger of Allah It is reported in a story about a companion, well known by the name Safina, who was a slave who had been freed by the Messenger of Allah that he once boarded a ship which was then wrecked in the sea. He clung to a plank of wood until he reached an island. On reaching the island, a lion was standing there. Now people are usually terrified of lions. But when he saw the lion, he said to it, O oh, Abul Harith, Abul Harith is an Arab nickname for a lion. O oh, Abul Harith, I am Safina, a slave who was freed by the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Show me the way. May Allah have mercy on you. Safina recounts the lion nodded its head and wagged its tail. It walked ahead of me and I followed it until it showed me the way to safety on the island. Glory be to Allah who rescued him by a cause of ruin from ruin. Lions are a cause of ruin and death. Allah saved this companion by a cause of death from death. That was the blessing of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We learn beautiful subtle meanings from this. First, this companion Safina understood that having a relationship with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is something sublime. And he knew that all creatures know the magnitude of the Prophet ﷺ. So he used this card of his. He said, Oh Abul Harith, I am Safina, a freed slave of the Messenger of Allah ﷺ. He used to serve the Prophet and is a well-known companion. May Allah be pleased with him and please him. Here we come to know the nobility of this relationship. In another narration, when Abdullah ibn Umar was on his way to Taif, he came across a lion that people were fleeing from. He asked the people, what are you doing? They said, we are fleeing from the lion. He said, are you afraid of the lion? The Prophet ﷺ said, only that which man is afraid of overpowers him. If he does not fear anything besides Allah, nothing will overpower him except Allah. Ibn Umar said, oh Abu Harith, keep away from the Muslims path. So the lion left them and went away. That entirely is due to the, to the effect of their connection to the Prophet ﷺ. Another meaning and message that we understand from this lion is that it became a servant to a companion of the Messenger of Allah ﷺ. Not only was this an indirect service of the Messenger of Allah, but it knew the stature of one who has a relationship with the Messenger of Allah. It wasn't like some people today. Perhaps some people today say they are Muslims, but they do not know the stature of the family of the Messenger of Allah. They say they are Muslims, but they do not know the stature of the companions of the Prophet ﷺ. They might even abuse some of the companions of the Messenger of Allah or give no attention to the family of the Messenger of Allah. We say to them, this lion has better perception and more profound understanding than you because it knew the magnitude of the Prophet of Allah and the magnitude of all that is connected and has an ascription to him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam We can draw near to the Prophet through all that is ascribed to him They are those that lead to him such as his family, his companions, his city, his knowledge or any relics he bequeathed to the Ummah Everything that is ascribed to the Beloved is Beloved we say, may Allah be pleased with these lions and other animals because they became our teachers, making us comprehend some things that we may be heedless of. And that is due to their connection with the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We ask Allah to strengthen our connection to Him, to honor us with love of Him, to make us on His path and to unite us with Him. He is the most generous and the most merciful. <laughs> من رميمة روحات غارة وزينة